everyone. And today I want to talk to y'all about a little thing called knitting and crocheting. Though for the sake of brevity, I'll be calling them needle arts in this video. Now, the first thing you may be asking yourself, well, what's the difference between knitting and crocheting? Well, other than the techniques, the main difference is that crocheting, you use this hook tool, pictured right here, called a crochet hook. While with knitting, you can use knitting needles or a knitting loom, as pictured here. Now, the great thing about needle arts is that you aren't confined to just making the typical blankets, hats, and scarves that you typically see. You can literally make anything you want with enough imagination, perseverance, and tri trial and error. The main thing is that you, you're enjoying it. So if you want to make a sweater that rivals grandma's, then go ahead. If you want to make a crochet cover for an actual car, like seen here, you can do that too, just as long as you're having fun. And you know, crochet needle arts, they also have some benefits. And while there haven't been too many studies done yet, some organizations such as the Craft Yarn Council have sh shown reports of reduced stress, better ability to cope with physical and mental illnesses, and it helps fight off m mental illnesses such as dementia as well as keeps your fi fine motor skills sharp. It can also help with socialization as many people do needle arts in groups and with the emergence of the internet over the past few decades it has become very easy to connect with others and it has been shown that there is a therapeutic impact with needle arts and it shows potential to promote both meaningful social connections and positive experiences overall. And while admittedly these studies should be taken with at least a slight grain of salt just because there haven't been much studies done so far, I know that at least for me needle arts have definitely had a positive impact, especially with reducing stress and anxiety. Uh, one, honestly, one of my biggest ongoing problems is that I set really high expectations for myself, which causes me to become overwhelmed, and that leads into my anxiety flaring up, which then leads into a downward spiral from there on out. And I ran into this issue during this project, actually. When it comes to my goals, which included working on a very complex and grand ultimate needle arts project on top of doing little projects in between, I ended up not really getting to accomplish many of my goals. However, that is okay. Sometimes you can't accomplish all the goals you set for yourself. It is perfectly natural to fail sometimes. One of the things I love about needle arts is that if you make a mistake, it is incredibly easy to accommodate for it without having to restart your entire project. And even if you do make a mistake, it's not going to ruin the project completely. Like, it's still going to turn out nice. It's not going to devalue it. Just like if you make a mistake in life, it's not going to devalue you as a person or your worth. And while I have had some experience with needle arts before, part, a large part of my decision to focus on needle arts for this project was because I knew how it has helped me with my anxiety in the past. And I know I sometimes just need to stop and let myself uh, de-stress in a positive way. And so that's how needle arts have really helped me. And so onto my projects, I ended up to making several pieces and started working on one piece that I hope to pick back up in the future. And I also accomplished some of my goals. 
like, while I wasn't able to do that big old project, I was able to keep up with my goal of, create, of completing one new project a week. Or one new project every two weeks. I was also able to learn different techniques and, and I really feel like I've improved myself in terms of my skill with needle arts specifically with crocheting. So as you can see from these images, here are the projects that I did. Things didn't exactly go as planned. I'm still pretty satisfied with these results. And so, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and y'all were able to get something out of it. 